right guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise somewhere in the green mountains of Vermont where it looks like maybe we can enjoy one smoke-free day here on this gorgeous summer Saturday July 13th 2019 so the little dog and I are heading out the door to go check out some tiny houses to live out the end times uh, I'll keep you posted on how that all goes. Before I go, I just <laughs> want to share one of the great We Are So Fucked Doomsday headlines uh, that I have received this year. But oh yeah, before I go, I do want to send out a big thank you to kind-hearted tribes member Robert Miller for his kind donation to help getting Sancho back on his feet. And Robert, I will be seeing you soon, but uh, before we head out the door with a little dog, this is, I, I'm sorry, I cannot remember the Alert Tribes member who might have found the most We Are So Fucked Doomsday headline of 2019, and I'm reading this, I just got out of the shower pulling another tick off of me, no doubt. I've pulled probably 12, 15 ticks off of me uh, the past few weeks. I no doubt have some fatal disease. So I don't know if it was this guy or not. I don't think so. <clears throat> Take it away. ARS Technica. ARS Technica, whoever they are. This is from their extremely worrisome files. You know, all these different, they have an extremely worrisome dispatch. Savage tick clone armies are sucking cows to death. Experts fear for humans. Spreading invasive tick spawns without mating and can transmit deadly diseases. <clears throat> All right, take it away. Ravenous swarms of cloned ticks have killed a fifth cow in North Carolina by exsanguination. Exsanguination, that is by draining it of blood. The state's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Service warned this week. Experts fear that the blood-thirsty throngs of ticks, which were first noticed in the United States in 2017, will continue their rampage, siphoning life out of animals and eventually transmitting diseases, potentially deadly ones, to humans. Hmm... Uh, just last month, infectious disease researchers in New York, in New York State, reported the first case of the tick species biting a human in the U.S. There's probably been a second case in upstate New York. Y you know, you're supposed to save the ticks you pull off your body. Uh, good God, imagine, I would, I just want the little fuckers off. Like this one in the damn shower, he went sailing off in the shower spray. Uh, thank you, upstate New York. The finding was, quote, unsurprising given the tick's ferocious nature, according to Bob S. Pritt, director of the clinical parasitology laboratory in Mayo Clinic, and it is, quote, extremely worrisome for several reasons. Um, Pritt wrote in a commentary for the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases. <clears throat> Here's what we're talking about, guys. <clears throat> I don't know if the one I, I, 
I didn't have my glasses on. Good God. <clears throat> the tick called the Asian longhorned tick was first found terrorizing a sheep in New Jersey in 2017 and has since established local populations in at least 10 states since it sneaked in. Its invasive sweep is due in large part to the fact that one single well-fed female can spawn up to 2,000 tick clones parthogenetically, that is, without mating, in a matter of weeks. And unlike other ticks that tend to feast on a victim for no more than seven days, mobs of Asian longhorn ticks can attach for up to 19 days. Bloody blitzes. According to the new report out of North Carolina, the latest victim there was a young bull in Surrey County at the border with Virginia. At the time of his death, the doomed beast had more than 1,000 of the ticks on him. The official cause of death was acute anemia, which is typically associated with severe hemorrhaging. The bull's owner had already lost four other cattle in the same way. You, you think uh, this clueless fucking moron might keep a better watch on his cattle. <clears throat> this case echoes the first report of the tick which stalked a sheep paddocked in an affluent neighborhood in New Jersey in August of 2017. The animal was besieged by hundreds of the ticks which scrambled up the legs of health investigators when they walked in to survey the situation. Since then, researchers at the National Veterinary Services Laboratories looked back through their tick samples and discovered a larval, uh, one of these little guys uh, from a, which was found on a white-tailed deer in Tyler County, West Virginia back in 2010. Uh, still, researchers don't know when the tick first arrived into the U.S. and exactly where it came from. <clears throat> As its name suggests, the tick originates in Asia, specifically Eastern China, Russia, Korea, and Japan. In recent decades, it has also made its way into Australia, New Zealand, and several Pacific Islands, as well as the U.S. Uh, in China and South Korea, the tick is known to spread SFTSW, short for the severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome virus. The disease is related to heartland virus found in the U.S. and has had reported mortality rates up to 30%. The tick is also known to transmit Rickettsia japonica, the cause of Japanese spotted fever, and Thalseria orientalis, which is behind cattle theraliasis. It has also been found harboring relatives of U.S. pathogens, including those that cause anaplomosis, Erlicitosis, babesiosis, and the Powassan virus. So far, health investigators have not found the tick harboring any of these germs, but there is a risk that at any point they could be introduced, Dr. Pritt notes, 
And if they are, the diseases could easily spread like wildfire through the ravenous hordes of bloodthirsty ticks. The 66-year-old New York State man who had the first recorded Asian longhorn tick bite was healthy before and three months after the encounter. Well, that's good to know. He found the tick on his right leg after working on his lawn. Uh, it brought it into the Lyme disease diagnosing, diagnostic center suspecting he might be at risk of Lyme disease like I probably am. Though the biting, though that biting tick was disease free, when investigators went back to the man's lawn and a nearby park, they easily found more of the ticks. More concerning, the ticks were lurking in short, sunny grass, whereas other ticks in the area tend to stick to shady, wooded areas. The authors note that, quote, the findings of this investigation suggest that public health messages may need to be changed, at least in certain geographic areas, yes, yeah, such as upstate New York, uh, to emphasize a wider range of potential tick habitats, close quote. Uh, Asian longhorn tick populations are now known also to exist in Arkansas, Connecticut, Kentucky, Maryland, New Jersey, of course New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. And this was written by health reporter Beth Mole, uh, whose interest is in biomedical research, infectious diseases, and health policy. She has a PhD in microbiology, and if you enjoyed that story, you might also enjoy the story, U.S. Invaded by Savage Ticks that suck animals dry and spawns without mating. Anyway, it's so nice to uh, depend on my Alert Tribes members to keep us so well informed uh, just how completely fucked we are. And uh, here I go with another right about where this target is is where I uh, pulled off my whatever number tick, as I will probably de be dead by some fatal tick-borne virus put me out of my fucking misery. I suggest you go out there and enjoy tick land while you still can before you get sucked dry by a plague of bloodthirsty self-replicating ticks in the end times. Bye guys.